Howdy folks, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plaster and today I'm going to show you how to do this chimney. I don't know if, if Jay can zoom in. This has a skip trial finish and if you look at the house it has a brand new float finish. It's a two coat system and they use the sponge float sponge to give it a sand finish. That's a better word for homeowners because people say what's a float finish? That's where you float it and you bring out the aggregate. It's a sand finish around the house done by some uh, really experts. Uh, they're really good. Oh, if you look at that sign, that was us. We don't video everything we do, but they called me back here to do this chimney. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do this chimney or show you how we do it just in case you have a Mitch match finish and you want to correct it. Now notice on this chimney they have uh, it's a skip trial finish so what what that does is somebody put a finish and they skipped it and that was 90 years ago now I'm going to show you how we put a, a, a sand finish over a skip trial finish I'm going to use this scoop and by the way Jay's going to show you guys how to make scoops with a bucket here you can make these all day long if you know how um, that's one of my questions we get a lot on videos. Hey, where do you buy those scoops? Well, just show you how to make them. We were on a job one time and we needed three of them. So it took them no time to make three. Anyway, what I'm doing, guys, is I'm applying uh, the... This is what we call uh, a finish coat. And what's the finish coat? Well, that's, that's a bag, a 94-pound bag of finished product that way like like the bottom when we did the bottom it was just sand and cement now I could use sand and cement for this too but this is a lot faster and it saves us a bit of time saves them a bit of time it looks prettier it's very uniform so what I'm going to do here is I'm filling in all the voids now if you guys know what a, a skip trial finish is. It has details. So those details of the skip have got to be filled in. Okay. Now let me move out of my own way. That's that. I'll show you how we bring the aggregate out too. Uh, what's the aggregate guys? Fancy name for sand. Alright. I'm kind of working on it edge here a note I take this finish stucco out of the bucket with that scoop there walk around so don't kill myself up here slide down let's see I don't want to be in my own way so I will start at the bottom here then I'm gonna take it up and try not to lose my balance and fall That's very important guys. It's, it's nice to show you how to do things. It's even nicer not to fall. All right, there's that. And there's that. And I'm gonna switch from my favorite Congo trowel to this little bitty guy here. All right, this little square trowel. This is actually what the majority of folks use. But I like, I like to get it done so I, I you generally use my 20 inch trowel. All right, now this, this little guy here will do the job. I notice I'm putting it on a little fat because I have to float this. And again, floating or sand finish, same, same finish. All right, let me get this. One more hawk full and that should work. All right. If you guys ever do this, never stand on paper. We got the paper right here so we don't get it all over the roof. However, you can't stand on the paper. You could, but it'll slide. And the paper slides, guess what? So do you. All right. We're gonna continue taking it around. A little detail here. But once, once this is done, the float is easy. All right, so. It's a good idea too, guys, if you're going to 
try this. Bring yourself up a water hose. I got a water hose right next to me. And this, this finished material, it's a little, a little soupy, but nothing Oh, Kirk can't handle. All right, so we've got that on there. We've finished this, finished the edge. Beautiful. Finish underneath. Beautiful. And get this little part. You folks watching, this doesn't, this doesn't look high at all. In fact, to me, it doesn't look high. But the roof is slippery because it's the first thing in the morning. And roofs tend to be a, a bit slippery, especially when they're wet. All right, let me finish up with a little bit of detail I got going on here. All right, that's done. The top detail. Beautiful, that's done. And let me see what the heck we got under here. Next, I'll show you how to bring the aggregate out uh, because they want it to match the bottom of sand finish. So you hear anybody say, hey, I want a, a float finish, you know it's basically a sand finish. And we call it a float finish because we use a float to create it. All right. Now this doesn't have to be pretty because I am going to run a float over it. One last little piece down here that the camera won't even show. But I see it, so got to do it. All right. Take your leftover mud, put it in the bucket, and of course I already did the other two sides. Now this float is how we create a sand finish. I take the float, put it in a bucket of clean water, tap it out, tap out all that exist, existing water because you don't want it dripping all over the place, get your balance, ah. and now we float it. And that just means you run the float over it lightly. Okay, run it over lightly. And if, you run, if you do it just right and you know what you're doing, it gives the same appearance as below. And generally what I like to do is start from the top, work your way down, come sideways, sideways, get that underneath, pull it this way, Boom, simple as that. Any excess, scrape it off. Now again, I'm just lightly taking this float and going over it because we want to fill the area where the skip trial is, but we also want the aggregate to match. Absolutely, I'm in my own way, oops. Okay, I'm out of my way. I, I, was, I forget sometimes that I'm standing in front, especially when I'm up high, and I think it, if, if I fall, it'll hurt. Okay, guys, so now we're going to get that. And this is going to be painted, too. So because it's going to be painted, we're not worried about the color. Now, lastly, too, guys, a finished coat comes in three textures. It comes in fine, which I wouldn't be able to do this if I had the fine. And it comes in medium. Medium would not give me this coarse texture. And the bottom is a two coat finish. So we brought the aggregate out on the bottom with just regular stucco. Regular stucco mix is Portland cement mixed with sand. So we fix this up here. And we just run the float on everything, guys. Just, you can close your eyes and, and just run that float. But never close your eyes when you're working this high up. All right, so we'll finish this off here. 
boom. Make that pretty. Make the sides pretty here. And then I'm gonna have Lou, my brother, send me up a water hose to clean the roof. Because unless you have a tarp, a cloth tarp, guys, plastic up here, if you step on plastic and you're on a roof, that plastic will slide. And we're using paper, so that's even worse. So you gotta watch that stuff. Don't step on it. The only time you can step on the roof when it's covered is if you have a cloth tarp. So there it is, guys. And what I'm gonna do now is clean up this roof with that water hose. You'll see, and what you do is you just, if you see any de holidays, holidays, just uh, mistakes, clean it up. Um, I'm uh, hitting all this little stuff here because I can see it. Hope I didn't block my own progress here from the camera, uh, but I can't do this from the other side. It's too steep. Anyhow, that's how you match a sand, a rough sand finish with the right material. This is a La Habra. It's called 1620. 1620 just means how thick the sand is or aggregate. Anyhow, guys, we thank you for watching. And as usual, live long and blaster. Hi everyone, just wanted to remind you that if you haven't gotten your fix for stucco videos lately, I have been uploading new content to my other channel, which we will link in the description as well as the card at the top right of this video. Be sure to check it out. Or you can go to our website and get them there. If you have any other questions that, for tools we don't have linked, email us direct and we'll respond to you then. Once again folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below, and also if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching, and from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.